Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have learned about the concept of the state in the React. Now it's time for us to implement the concept of this uh, state in our project. So here if you try to see here we are having the step right. So whenever I click on this next button, so instead of having the select box, I need to increment the step. When I click on this previous button, instead of uh, <coughs> alerting, I need to decrease the steps. So for this one, what we need to do is we need to use the state. So for this one, I can do constant state data is equal to. So we need to use the use state. OK, this should be imported from the react here. And here I will be using the default one that is nothing but one. And if you try to see the value, so what is that state data value? It is trying to display it. If you see the console dot log of state data. OK, let's see here. And if you inspect the element in this one, I am trying to inspect the element. OK, so it is telling the step variable is undefined. So we'll try to keep the step for the time being. OK, now if you see the console here in this one, what happened? We have used the step, right? Step greater than one and all those things. OK, let's see the output. Yeah, we are getting and here in this one, you'll be able to see an array. So the first array, the first element of this array is holding the value one that is nothing but the value which we are trying to send it by default. And the second one is a function which tries to set the data. So this function is used to set the data. So here this use state method will return two values as an array. First one is the value of that one. And the second one is to update the value of that state variable. So these are the two things you need to remember in the react. So normally in generally in order to get those two values, we will use the destructuring. The first one is the step value and the second one is the set step value. So like this, we will use it. So now here it's time for us to remove this variable. Now automatically everything works fine. So here the state data is not required. So everything works fine. So here in this one where we have used the state data, we haven't used it anywhere. Yeah. So now here in this one, the step value holds the value, the first element of the array and the set step value holds the uh, not holds. The, so setting the value. So here we got the step when I click on this next and all those things instead of this one, we need to update the value. So here I am removing this mouse enter. We are having the previous and next, right? So we can implement the next and previous here. So I can write something like set, sorry, set step of so we need to update the value set plus one so we need to give it like this and here in the same scenario we can use it something like set step of step minus one so i can use the same value like this that's it now if you try to see the output if i refresh this page and if i click on the next see we are able to update the value so here we are able to decrease the value so this is how we will be implementing the event listeners in the react now we got we are implementing this one, but we have one bug here. What is that bug is now if I try to implement increment hit here, so it is going on incrementing like this step 15, 6, 17 like this. So if I go on decrease this one, so it is working and it is going to minus values also. This should not happen. So now we can add a condition here. If step is greater, uh, sorry, is greater than one, not greater than one. If step is less than three, then only it needs to be upgraded. And here also, if step is greater than one, then only it needs to be minus. So let's see whether, whether it will work or not. So if you try to see the value for this one, so now here one, two, three, and it is not upgrading. And if you go here and it is not. Upgrading. So like this, we can achieve the same thing. So here we have successfully able to reproduce the issue solve the issue fine so we are using the set step to increment the value of step so for example can i use this one something like step is equal to step plus one so directly up, up applying the value so for this one we should not use the constant we should not we should use the let variable so now here also i will use step is equal to step minus one so can we use this value so if you try to refresh this page and here we can do next 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 and previous 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 so it is not working 
so why this is not working is so we should never use this one so here so this is a normal variable and here the set step will do the immutability and also the functioning re-rendering and everything will be taking place so whenever you are trying to upgrade the value and all those things the function re-render is not taking place so that is the reason you are not able to see the update and all those things so whenever you see the function re-rendering and all those things then only you can see this one so set step is used like this so whenever you are trying to update the state value means then you need to use the method which is provided by the react that is used uh, set step like this so step plus one and let's uh, revert this one so that we can get that condition also fine right yeah so like this we need to use it so this is one thing and we can also see another scenario in such a way that for example let's say that i am having a text so here i am using use state okay and here as an object i am having as an object leela okay and now i want to change the name of this one so here let's try to use it here in our message okay text dot name so i am using this one now if i want to update here function next so here i will update text dot name is equal to um, instead of using leela i will change it to leela web dev okay now if i use the same thing the name you will be able to see here the name of and the name we are able to see it what happened here we are not able to see the name so i am updating this one right text dot name so constant oh i am using it as a like this right so this one is a state so use sorry set text okay now you here you will be able to see the value leela we are able to see now if i click on the next so now according to that one we are not using the method which is provided by the use state set text so this should not be updated text dot name should not be updated to web dev now if you try to observe carefully if i click here so it has been updated so that means the data has been getting updated so what is the issue what is, what is the thing it is going on so here so you should never update this type of value so you this is an as this one is an object so it is able to update it but we should never use like this so this is a bad practice even though if it is working so if it, it is a bad practice why because so it will give you a, some in complex application if you are trying to develop this will give you unexpected behavior so that is the reason so the suggested one is not to use it like this so what we can use it is so you can use the set text of name is lila web dev so the like this we need to use it now this one also works with the in the same way so if you try to see here we are able to see the lila and if i click here then also it will work so the recommended way is using like this so i am removing this one so before closing of this state and all those things so i will we will try to do some uh, some other scenario using the state thing for example i want to add a closing symbol for this one so when i click on that closing symbol this needs to be removed and uh, and this needs to be when i click again it needs to come so like this we need to use it so here for this one what i can do is so here i will be creating one div okay i am using one close symbol so this should be i have one single root right so we can use one div and i am and i am wrapping entire thing in one div so here we are able to see one closing symbol so let's try to apply the classes for this one so here this is a close i am applying the close and i am going into the app.css and here in this one i am using the close in this close uh, let's try to write text align end so end is the new one which we can uh, you can use right also not a problem and i will use a margin of 2rem so it went to here and i will give a font size of uh, 2rem so so that it will be somewhat bigger yes and i will give font weight of bold so that one is also bigger and here i will use cursor pointer okay so that is also done now if i click on this one so this needs to be removed and if i click on this one this needs to come so for this one what we need to do is so here i will use a um, state variable constant is open and uh, i will use something like set is open is equal to use state of true first one it should be true so that is one thing which i want to tell you now is open is there so here i can write something like on click is equal to uh, is open uh, sorry i can write something like 
set is open of not of is open so i am trying to um, do the vice versa of this one so here this is the close icon is there right and when i need to do so this entire step needs to be become false so for this one what i can do i can we go into the javascript mode if is open is there open is there then only it needs to show this all the step so here i can copy this entire thing and i can paste it here that's it so now if i click on this one see it is removed and it is coming so like this we can implement the event listener for this one now here we are using the entire thing in one single view right so if you don't want this one in a single view means you can use the rear fragment which we have learned it earlier so i can make it like this then entire thing will be in the react fragment so here you will be able to see without any root element we are able to get this output so this is the way which we will be using the now uh, what i can say the state variable in the react js hope you understood about this concept so we have implemented this the step and also in this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions and i will commit this code in a new branch that is nothing but video iphone 20 so this is the 28th video and i will commit this code so what is this one i am trying to tell you the state changes right the state changes and i will commit this entire code so whoever may be having a doubts or anything so we already have a uh, github repository url so here you will be able to get this all the code so we uh, if any doubts are any there if any doubts are there in this code means you can refer to this code hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you